Section 6.4 is all about rectangles, and you're probably familiar with rectangles. Uh, there are just a couple of things to add to your knowledge. First, make sure you get this in your, note, in your notes. Uh, 6.4 is rectangles, and we'll also discuss a little bit of coordinate proof. So, rectangles. What are they? The definition of a rectangle is a quadrilateral is a rectangle if and only if it has right angles. So some special features or characteristics, all rectangles are parallelograms. And so all rectangles have the same special characteristics that parallelograms have. We know that opposite sides are both congruent and parallel. We know that opposite angles are congruent. And by the way, all the angles are 90 degrees. We know that consecutive angles are supplementary, which again seems obvious since they're all 90 degrees. The diagonals bisect each other. And then one new thing, one additional characteristic, is that the diagonals are equal in length. They're congruent. So in terms of this hierarchy of polygons, by the way, this is page 2, uh, 331 in your textbook. We see that all rectangles are poly are all rectangles are parallelograms, but not all parallelograms are rectangles. So some special types of parallelograms are rectangles, the ones with right angles. Take a look at page 331 in your textbook. Uh, it's good reading. So let's say ABCD here is a rectangle, and we want to solve for X and Y. Well, first, angle A is a right angle, and so we would say 5X plus 8 plus 3X plus 2 must equal 90, and solving that for X gives us that X equals 10. Next, we see that BAC and DCA would be alternate interior angles, and so that means those are congruent angles. So 3x plus 2 equals 6y plus 2. Then sub in the value of x from the previous problem. So 3 times 10 plus 2 equals 6y plus 2. So eventually we get that y must be 5. Let's say we have a parallelogram. Parallelogram? Yeah, let's say we have a parallelogram, f, r, o, g, and it has these coordinates. Can we prove that FROG is also a rectangle? Well, if it's a parallelogram, we already know that the uh, opposite sides are parallel, that the opposite sides are congruent, and that the diagonals bisect each other. And so instead, we need to look further. One way is to show that there is a right angle by finding the slopes of two consecutive sides. So for example, if we were to graph out FROG, maybe I would find the slope of FR. So I see that slope is one third. The slope of another consecutive side, let's call it, say, OR, or RO, pardon, that slope is negative three. Now, one third and negative three are opposite reciprocals. And so that guarantees that FR is perpendicular to RO. And if we have one right angle, then we have four right angles. So therefore, FROG is a parallel, is a rectangle. Another way to prove that FROG is to show that the diagonals are congruent. We already know that the diagonals bisect each other because FROG is a parallelogram. But we also want to use the distance formula to show that they're equal in length. So FO is equal to 5 root 2. RG is also equal to 5 root 2. And so therefore, the diagonals are congruent because their lengths are equal. So two ways to prove that this is a rectangle. One by using slopes of consecutive sides, and the others by using the diagonals, uh, the lengths of the diagonals. 
Let's take a look at uh, just one coordinate proof example. We're going to prove that if we have a quadrilateral that's a rectangle, its diagonals must be congruent. So first we have to position and label a rectangle on a set of xy axes. Let's call it leaf. So here's one possible set of coordinates for LEAF. We're given that it's a rectangle and we want to prove that its diagonals are equal in length, which means they would be congruent. So we'll just use the distance formula. The distance from F to E is going to be B minus 0 squared plus 0 minus A squared, which is B squared plus negative A squared, all square rooted. And remember, negative A squared is just positive A squared. The other diagonal, AL, is also equal to b squared plus a squared, all square rooted. And so therefore, since those distances are equal, I know for sure that the diagonals of any rectangle will be congruent. Oh, the cat got in the way here. <laughs> Photobomb. Get away, cat.